What's going on YouTube? Paul Tech here again. Today I'm do a quick review comparison between two of my favorite phones, the LG G Stylo and the Sharp Aquos Crystal by Sprint. Alright guys, first off let's talk about the display. The LG G Stylo has a 5.7 inch display and the Aquos Crystal has a 5 inch display. As you can see here, both displays look very nice, crisp, and clear. Um, colors pop, they're vibrant. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at the home screen here. As you can see here, these both have the same exact wallpaper. Okay, so they're both, uh, you know, responsive. Um, the LG G Stylo is the newer phone um, compared to the Aquos. Uh, price is about $200 at Metro PCS for the LG G Stylo and it runs about $140 um, through Sprint at Best Buy here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the app drawers here. Different apps that are installed. That's how they both look. Alright, for me it comes down to um, preference on these two phones. If I'm at work um, I definitely want the smaller phone, but I do want the uh, bigger display. Okay, so, but I want a display that's going to be compact and it's going to work for me. So, when I go to work, I usually take the uh, Aquos Crystal with me. It is a 5 inch display. Um, it's compact, it's a lot smaller than most 5 inch phones. Um, just compared to the LG G Stylo, I mean, you can see the size difference there. Go ahead and show you right here. So, just right there, you can see there is a big size difference there. So, from the back. So, there you go. You see, I mean, pretty good size size difference there. So, you know, for me. Um, the Aqua Crystal definitely works better for me at work. Uh, fits in my pocket a lot easier. Uh, it's more compact. The LG G Stylo, I noticed at work, is uh, more bulky. Um, it's definitely a little bit harder to handle uh, when I'm at work. Um, but when I'm at home, I'm more leisure time. Definitely like the LG G Stylo. You got a big screen that you can uh, review videos on. Okay. So you definitely get a better user experience with. Um, the LG G Stylo so um, but like I said guys it's just basically preference whatever works best for you um, so let's just take a look at cameras here guys this uh, one here has a 8 megapixel camera LED flash the G Stylo has the 13 megapixel with a laser autofocus and LED flash power buttons on the back volume up and down buttons it does have the stylus up on top um, power button for the uh, Aquos is on the top, so as well as the uh, headphone jack on both phones. On the right side of the phones, on both of these phones, um, there is nothing on the right side. On the left side, you do have the volume buttons on the Aquos, and there's no buttons whatsoever on the uh, Stylo. We both have the uh, charging ports on the bottom of the phones here, and um, this is kind of basically the way they look from behind, from the back here. So you got this a um, little bit different design going on here. I would say the LG G Stylo definitely has a more premium design to it, has more premium look. It looks very similar to the LG G4. Okay. He actually so. never stops. All right, so. Um, like I said, both of these phones are pretty decent. Um, they both, um, you know, they run both um, pretty smooth, you know. Um, so, and you know, uh, with the cameras, you know, 8 megapixels looks good. It is going to be better on the LG G Stylo with the 13 megapixel, though. Okay. So let's just kind of take a look at, let's see here, software. So, 
let's see here system settings system settings so you can see the difference here <clears throat> let's go to about phone general about phone So let's see here, software info. So we got um, Android 4.4.2 and we got Lollipop uh, 5.1.1. So operating systems and software is gonna be different with Android 4.4.2 and uh, Lollipop 5.1.1. I doubt that this Alcos will get Lollipop. I'm just not seeing it. Um, but if it does, that's great. But um, I'm just not too sure about that. So basically, you know, both of these phones are, you know, I like both. I can use both of them, which I typically do. I take this one to work and I use this one uh, on my days off. Um, when I'm at home, I definitely watch the uh, YouTube videos on this phone. A little bit more than on um, the Sharp phone. Now with the iPhone here. Forever from Sprint, you can always get the latest iPhone. So now with your iPhone Forever, enjoy the iPhone Forever Revolution. Now get an iPhone for $15 a month. You can bring it back to us. Got the latest anytime again. Now get an iPhone Forever Revolution. 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 Now get an iPhone Forever Yeah, there's Let's see if I can find something on the sprint there. So let's see here. No, we don't want sprint. Let's see, where's Marquise here? Let's see. So both these are set up both to my account, but obviously they show two different um what's okay so that's what's trending let's see your subscriptions there we go all right let's click on both of these all right guys moment here from dw1 and now we are shooting the galaxy note 5 that's 1080 60 frames per second just click on the settings that this also doesn't have a stabilization with it we're going to try and as possible. I figured that the majority of you will actually be able to see at least this on your phone. Over to phones or uh, smartphones, tablets, screens, uh, your laptops, and such and such. I'm trying to make up monitors at home, whatever. Most likely have something in that. You can see this is just a little bit better over 4K. But um, just continue to walk up here. So, picture looks really good on both phones. But like I said, you know, watching the G Stylo is gonna, uh, you know, be bigger screen, better display, I think. Although the Sharp has a very edge to edge nice display as well. So, all right, guys. So, all right, guys. So that's just a quick comparison between the two. You know, both of these phones are both really nice. Um, actually, watching and doing this review, I might think the Sharp Aquos Crystal might have a better display. You know, it almost looks like it to me in that video we just watched. Um, so I got to do a little more research, but. Um, you know, software is going to be more up to date on the stylo, um, better camera, bigger battery, 2900 compared to 2040 milliamps. This is removable back and battery. This is removable back, but you can't remove the battery. <clears throat> this thing is 16 gigabytes of storage. This is 8 gigabytes of storage. So, but all in all, you know, uh, I like both of these phones. It would be hard for me to choose which one. 
you know, they both offer really good features. Um, so I'll keep them both and use them both. All right, guys. Paul Tech signing off. You guys have a good day.